Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers for a World in Crisis. Today, Oroville, Part 5. Mother. Each one has good reasons to support his own opinion, and I am no expert to judge between them. But from the spiritual point of view, I know that with true goodwill, all opinions can be harmonized in a more comprehensive and truer solution. This is what I expect from the workers of Oroville. Not that some give way to others, but that on the contrary, all should combine their efforts to achieve a more comprehensive and perfect result. The ideal of Oroville demands this progress. Don't you want to make it? Blessings, 14 November 1971. The only true freedom is the one obtained by union with the divine. One can unite with the divine only by mastering one's ego. 1971 Oroville wants to be the first realization of human unity based on the teaching of Sri Aurobindo, where men of all countries would be at home. January 1972. Message for UNESCO. Mother, Oroville is meant to hasten the advent of the supramental reality upon earth. The help of all those who find the world is not as it ought to be is welcome. Each one must know if he wants to associate with an old world ready for death or to work for a new and better world Preparing to be born, 1st February, 1972. Question to Mother. Many in Oroville say that an organized working is not desirable in Oroville. They are for spontaneous working. Mother. Spontaneous work can be done only by a man of genius. Is there anyone claiming to be a genius? Blessings. Mother. Oroville wants to shelter people happy to be in Oroville. Those who are dissatisfied ought to return to the world where they can do what they want and where there is place for everybody. 2nd October, 1972. For those who have been taken into Oroville on a wrong statement of theirs, there is only one solution. It is to cure in themselves all falsehood. That is to say, all that contradicts in their consciousness the presence of the divine. 22nd October, 1972. The true spirit of Oroville is collaboration 
and must be more and more so. True collaboration paves the way to divinity. 22nd October, 1972. Mother. Three possible forms of greeting for those Aurovillians who wish to use them. All service de la vérité, at the service of truth or truth. 30 October 1972. Harmony, goodwill, discipline, truth. I can work with you only if you do not say a lie and are at the service of truth. 31st October 1972. Mother, before dying, falsehood rises in full swing. Still, people understand only the lesson of catastrophe. Will it have to come before they open their eyes to the truth? I ask an effort from all so that it has not to be. It is only the truth that can save us. Truth in words, truth in action, truth in will, truth in feelings. It is a choice between serving the truth or being destroyed. 26 November 1972 Mother Oroville has been created for a progressive superhumanity, not for an infrahumanity governed by its instincts and dominated by its desires. Those who belong to the infrahumanity, the animal humanity, have no place here. Oroville is for those who aspire for the supramental and make an effort to reach there. 1st December 1972 About a cyclone on the night of 5 December 1972 Mother It is a warning that nature is giving that those who do not have the true spirit of Oroville will have to change or to go if they do not want to change. 7 December 1972 Mother, everybody has to progress and become more sincere. Oroville has been created not for the satisfaction of the egos and their greeds, but for the creation of a new world, the supramental, expressing the divine perfection. 12 December 1972 Oroville has been created for a superhumanity, for those who want to surmount their ego and renounce all desire to prepare themselves for receiving the supermind. They alone are true Aurovillians. Those who want to obey their ego and satisfy all their desires belong to a subhumanity and have no place here. They must return to the world which is their true place. 18 December 1972 Mother To all those who are telling lies, 
By the simple fact that you are telling lies, you prove that you do not wish to be true Oroville's. If you wish to remain in Oroville, you must stop lying. 19 December 1972. Mother. To be a true Oroville'an, one must never lie. 28 December 1972. Question. Is Oroville the only solution to the misery of mankind and the disorders of society? Mother, not the only solution. It is a center of transformation, a small nucleus of men who are transforming themselves and setting an example to the world. This is what Oroville hopes to be, as long as egoism and bad will exist in the world, a general transformation is impossible. 28 December 1972. What political organization do you want for Oroville? Mother. An amusing definition occurs to me. A divine anarchy. But the world will not understand. Men must become conscious of their psychic being and organize themselves spontaneously without fixed rules and laws. That is the ideal. For this, one must be in contact with one's psychic being. One must be guided by it. And the ego's authority and influence must disappear. 28 December 1972